My name is Dee, and you're watching Slop. We're going to go back to the first press conference in the Summerwells case that took place June 24, 2021. Numerous specialized search and rescue groups with numerous canine teams have been represented from each of these agencies. To date, we have covered over 4.6 square miles, with that being over 3,000 acres being searched since Tuesday night when she was reported missing. The rugged mountainous terrain continues to cause problems. This has slowed search operations down in these areas, but please be rest assured while incurring these conditions, we are still searching with an aggressive approach with extreme attention to detail. This, these terrains and conditions have exhausted its crews both physically and mentally. We are still utilizing local and regional resources, but had, have had to call upon and utilize resources from Middle and West Tennessee, along with out-of-state resources to bring a fresh set of eyes and rested bodies into the search operations. Search efforts will continue on a more specialized team basis throughout the rest of the week. Just because you may not see us in such a large, large presence, once again, rest assured, we are still out here searching for summer whales. We will continue to work with the Hawkins County Sheriff's Department, TBI, and FBI until we find Summer Wells. Today's date is May the 31st, 2024. Summer has not been found and they are no longer searching for Summer Wells. The searches are no more. Before a sheriff here mentioned, please continue to search your personal property. Sullivan County, Hawkins County, the mainly the Beach Creek community, and even, even if you branch a little bit further, please search. And I've been telling these searchers here the last several days, when you're looking for this property, you're not looking for adult laying there. You're not looking for adult hiding in the building. We're looking for a five-year-old girl that weighed approximately 40 pounds. Captain Tim Coop just said weighed. Not she weighs, but she weighed. That means what? He talks about Summer like he believes that Summer has already passed, in my opinion. Somebody that size could wad up, could, could, could hide in an area that a legal size piece of paper or a folded up laptop could go. This is also the reason why we are exhausting all efforts. This train, as you can see behind us, guys, is only a, a small, very small percentage of what these guys day in and day out are going through. Five and six times. And we have community members, media outlets reaching out going, well, we have neighbors saying you're, co you're covering the same ground. We are. New ground, same ground, different eyes, fresh bodies. Guys, one flat looking field, there's a hundred places something could be hid, evidence, and or she could be hid. He started to say where people could hide things. They were looking for a body and evidence. So yes, we have covered multiple ground multiple times and we'll continue to do so. At this time, I can confirm that that is correct and that our agency is working to get this account set up. Once this information is available, our agency will provide a media release with this information on how the public, general public can also uh, give money for this. But at the same point in time, guys, we are, we're running on limited resources and we're trying everything we can to do that without interfering with the search for summer whales. Leslie, at this point in the search and investigation, do you believe summer whales is still alive? We hope so, but honestly, we just don't know. I mean, we, we're holding out hope, doing everything we can. Haven't we learned about this on YouTube in the true crime community? That when someone's mouth says one thing, but their head is shaking, no. In my opinion, 
That means she doesn't really believe Summer Wells is still alive. And we mustn't let it slip past us that the people talking are seasoned professionals. Obviously, we typically would have found a child at this stage in the investigation, so honestly, we just don't know. How many tips has the TBI received so far? I don't have the exact number with me, but it's well over 300 at this point. My office has not obtained any search warrants, and, and I really don't know what other agencies has. I've been coordinating with the captain here and... Hear him say, nine days into the investigation of the Summer Wells case, no search warrants have been issued by his office. Did you think Summer Wells had a good chance of being found nine days after she was reported missing? Do you think Summer Wells has a good chance of being found three years after she was reported missing? They have dropped the ball on Summer Wells. The investigators, they're all working together and we haven't briefed each other this afternoon. What about lie detector tests? Has anybody been given those? I think she can address this. Well, it's no secret that the TBI has a polygraph unit. We don't discuss specifics, but I can tell you that we use that as an investigative tool. In a situation like this, we're going to use every resource and tool available to us. Every resource and tool available to them, except search warrants. What happened to the search warrants for the house at 110 and Grandma's truck? and Don's vehicle that he was driving that day. What happened to the search warrants? The telephones? All the telephones. They never even took Jody Sue's and Andy's phone. Or Boog's phone. We follow up on all leads that come in, even if they're out of state. We have received some tips um, from other states, but they didn't prove to be credible leads. We are aware of the billboards. That's not um, something the TBI coordinates, but we appreciate, we appreciate the effort. Every resource and tool available to them, except search warrants. They didn't use any search warrants in the first nine days. I wonder why. We haven't heard any word about searches since March of 2022, Summer Wells needs to be found and Summer Wells desperately needs justice in this case. If you have any information, please do not hesitate to call 1-800-TBI-FIND. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. All the best. Summer Wells deserves justice.